welcome to our replay viewers. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for all your hearts and love. We are back in Tel Aviv now. You're in Israel. Welcome. Jay, I feel like I haven't seen you forever. How is it going? Grandmommy, hello. Welcome. How are you guys doing? It's early, huh? Been crazy busy. Well, it's starting to be that season, right? <laughs> Well, it's good to have you here, Jay. We have missed you. Josh were here. I'm sure he would practice saying your name. So, can you guys see when I'm the other direction, or I, is it better if I walk backwards? Ooh, very cool. So, we are back here in Tel Aviv. It's been a couple days here, back at our. Uh, no, we're, we're in Tel Aviv. We're not in Haifa. That's what they're saying. I'm sorry. The sun is right in my face. I'm trying to read the comments here. I'm sorry if I missed one. Um, we are back here. We are at our favorite spot where we spent our first day in Israel and had such a good time. So we came back to the beach here. The girls love it. You can see when we can't see. But there's playgrounds on the beach and toys for them and having a really good time. Back that way. No, but we, I wanna just wanna talk. Josh and I were talking right now. We were talking about fear and how we let it hold us back from things. And the fact that most of the time, what we're afraid of doesn't happen at all. You know, and and we get so caught up in our heads and in so many different scenarios and how things are gonna play out. And you know, we, we fear every possible thing you know and we, we kind of I think are inclined to see that things are going to go badly maybe we don't want to get our hopes up too much or expect that things are going to be really good um, and so and then that paralyzes us you know we get too caught up in the things that we're afraid are going to happen and our lives would be so much better if we just take the risk and not be afraid you know, or you know, even if you are afraid, don't let it hold you back. Just go ahead and, and try new things. My goodness, like we we were I've been afraid to come to Israel. For, you know, it, it seems like such a scary place. Um, at least, you know, on our news. And you come here and there's beautiful beaches and you just have this great time traveling around and seeing the country and Everybody we've met wants peace, you know, and it's not at all what we thought it was going to be like. And so, you know, kind of my our thought and encouragement for the day is don't let fear hold you back. Most likely, all those things that you imagine are never going to happen, you know. Things, things are going to work out better for you. Um, you know, the little acronym that people use for fear is false evidence appearing as real. And it's so true. We, we worry so much and all these things, they don't have, you know, it's not real. Fear lies to you and it, it keeps you back from what you can do, what you should do, all the things that would make your life so much better. So start off your Sunday morning and have this beautiful ocean view. I just want to encourage you to go out and, you know, don't let fear hold you back from anything. Go ahead and try something new. Visit a new place. Take on something you want to do. Talks about you know just like really sit down and like really plan out the worst case 
know, and most likely you'll find out it really isn't as bad as what you make it out to be. You know, most likely it's something that you can survive and you can get past. And once you know that, you'll feel a lot more confident about going ahead and just taking action.